Hello and welcome to part 2 of the SmartRap Core ALU 3D printer build. So in this video I assemble the frame and the rest of the mechanical components. So the aluminium frame goes together quite easily with the corner cube system. It's just a case of lining everything up and then tightening the screws. 3D printer parts are attached to the frame by uh, a method you just tighten the screw up and then it clamps it uh, to the aluminium. Uh, Allen keys are provided to tighten up all the bolts. Uh, everything's labelled, so what's on the left and what's on the right. And you can just copy the picture, basically. So this is for the hot end and induction sensor assembly. There's two rails here for added strength. So this is an Allen key system. Again, you just tighten it up, and then you can slide the full assembly over the top and join it to the other side. It did require some adjustment, but um, not too much, it's quite straightforward. I think overall the build took me less than an hour, so. So this is the Z-axis assembly. Uh, I think the best way of doing this is to put it all together first and then you can just bolt it onto the frame. Again, some adjustments required, but um, it's just a case of tightening the bolts up. So the last thing to go on is the extruder, and that's it for the mechanical parts. Uh, so with that done, we can then move on to the belts, which obviously allows everything to move. Um, so you get three in the kit, one for the Z and two for the X and Y. So it's just a case of running the, uh, the belts around the pulleys. The left one goes around all the top pulleys, and the right one goes around all the bottom pulleys. The hot end assembly has been designed with a notch in, so there's nothing to tighten up. You literally just uh, push the belt in and it holds it in place. So finally I added the Bowden tube, which is what directs the filament from the extruder into the hot end. And that's it for the mechanical part. Just a note on the build plate, um, it's a glass surface on a piece of wood which was provided is just held on by two 3D printed clips and screwed in with self tappers to the 3D printed support. I did add two bits of foam underneath the wooden piece and this allows you to to some degree manually adjust the level of the plate. It does have automatic bed leveling so the software will count for a few millimeters difference but uh, I thought this was a good thing to add. Okay, so in the next video we'll cover the electronics, connect everything to the ramps board, I'll run through the software setup and we can test it for the first time. So, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.